Hello grade 10s, today we'll look at municipal accounts and how tariffs are used to calculate their accounts. Municipal accounts include the charges we receive for electricity, water and other services. Every household in the country has to pay for the use of the service provided by the local authority. These services include electricity, water, refuse removal and sewerage removal. They are charged according to certain tariffs and are usually calculated separately. Electricity can be either paid for in advance using a prepaid meter or paid for in arrears. In this case, the customer will receive an account for electricity used. This amount will be based on the amount of electricity used in the month which will be read from the electricity meter. Let's take a look at an account together. This municipal account belongs to Mr. Strauss. As with all financial documents, they are always dated. The cost for each service rendered is listed separately. The amount of electricity used is 729 kilowatt hours and is shown here. The cost for this electricity is 876 rand and 44 cents. One unit of electricity is known as a kilowatt hour. All electrical appliances have a watt usage label. This label is usually found below or on the back side of the appliance. This closed iron has a wattage usage of 1200 watts. If you had to use this closed iron for one continuous hour, it would use 1,2 kilowatt hours of energy. The longer an electrical appliance is used, the more electricity it will use. Using the information we have, let's work out the cost per unit of electricity. To do this, we will divide the cost of the electricity by the number of units used. 876 rand and 44 cents divided by 729 units equals 1,202249 rand per kilowatt hour. Remember, you always round off to two decimal places and less told otherwise. So the final answer is 1,20 rand per kilowatt hour. An interesting fact to remember is that most electricity tariffs are rounded off to four decimal places. When a household has a prepaid meter, electricity vouchers or tokens are bought from a vendor and then loaded onto the meter, much like you would load airtime on your prepaid phone. As with all financial documents, the prepaid token has the name of the municipality, a date and time of purchase, an amount paid for the electricity, and VAT number details. On this slip, there is a tariff rate of 1,3443 listed under the domestic tariff rate. The unit of electricity is kilowatt hours. The customer bought 500 rands worth of electricity and was credited with 372 units. Let's look at how this was calculated. 1,3443 rand is the cost of 1 kilowatt of electricity. Therefore, 500 rand divided by 1,3443 rand equals 372 kilowatt hours. The tariff you are charged depends on which municipality you live in. Households that have a joint income of less than a certain amount can apply for a reduction in costs for the use of the first 50 units of electricity. These are known as indigent consumers. An indigent consumer will also get the first 6 kiloliters of water for free. Let's look at Mr. Strauss's water usage on his municipal account. Mr. Strauss uses 23,000 litres of water in one month. Mr. Strauss is not an indigent customer, so he does not qualify for 6 kilolitres of free water. Let's now take a look at the water consumption tariff table. 
Notice that the table has two rates listed for six kiloliters. Notice the indigent label in brackets. It is important that you read this table correctly when doing any calculations. Now to calculate the cost of the water using this tariff table is done as follows. The first six kiloliters cost six times four rand and 20 cents. And this equals 25 rand and 20 cents. The next 4,5 kiloliters cost 4,5 times 5 rand and 80 cents, which equals 26 rand and 10 cents. The next 9,5 kiloliters cost 9,5 times 10 rand and 71 cents, which equals 101 rand and 75 cents, when rounded to the nearest cent. Lastly, the last three kiloliters cost three times 13 rand and 54 cents, which equal 40 rand and 62 cents. Adding all these values together, you get a total of 193 rand and 67 cents. Finally, a number of other services are also listed on the account and these include refuse or rubbish removal, sewage, and fire brigade cost levy. Because all these services are taxable, VAT is charged. Whenever you need to work with financial documents and tariffs, make sure that you understand the terminology used before you start answering any questions related to that document. A dictionary can be a very useful tool. Thank you for joining us, Grade 10s. Remember, the task for this section can be found in the Finance Task video. You will also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.